Well, I got to say, peeps, uh, what, that was, oh, my God, that game was uh, exciting and horrible at the same time. Uh, Lions lose Cowboys in Dallas 26-24. Uh, to 24. Uh, Like I said, it was a slugger. Lions didn't go out there and do exactly what I said they should do, at least not for the whole game. They did not control Ezekiel Elliott. They let him dictate too much in the game. Now, I'm not going to lie. Uh, first of all, I'm a fan who admits when the Lions screwed up uh, fairly and squarely. And, yeah, we did. Uh, do some wrong out there, but there were still to me unnecessary penalties. Some were the Lions' fault. A lot of it was the referees bullcrapping, and there was a lot of penalties they missed on going forward to Dallas. Like you know, they called the Romeo Okwara penalty uh, uh, with the hit on Dak Prescott, which to me was a sack. I, I feel technically the whistle wasn't even blown yet. He hit the guy before the whistle was blown, but they gave it. Uh, it's a penalty on that anyway. Then Stafford gets sat to the head, which should have been a penalty, uh, unnecessary roughness or unsportsmanlike conduct, when the dude gets basically dropped on his head, slammed. I mean, any other quarterback, that's a flag. But it's something like with Stafford, they just they don't call it. I, every game, time we play the Dallas Cowboys, it's always some odd new way of flagging the Lions. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Some, the Lions did. Put them. They did do some holds. But I saw holds and face masks grabbing by the Dallas offensive line too. But anyway, to the rest of the game, man, um, they allowed Ezekiel Elliott to do too much. Uh, I was concerned that our run defense would give up 100 plus yards. I was fine with that, but the, the Lions didn't control them. They, they we you know in the first half offensively we did not control this game. It, it, well, the first half we did. Uh, the Lions. Play calling, or should, I should say, Jim Bob Cooter, uh, you know, he kind of screwed this game for us with his bad play calling. Then, you know, T.J. Lane went down. That ain't helping when your offensive line can't stay healthy. Then on top of that, uh, you got to protect Matthew Stafford, man. He They let up – I understand. Don't get me wrong. Cowboys defense is better than the Patriots, especially as a pass rushing unit and a run stopping defense. But the, the, the problem is it's still that – the Lions' offensive line has to block better for the quarterback. It was too many times Stafford could have saved us in this game if they held up. If I don't want, really don't want to hear no no blaming on Matthew Stafford. I don't want to. I don't want to. Him and Golden Tate did everything they could to keep us in this game. And Galladay, I gotta say they did everything they could. Uh, I'm not happy about what Jim Bob Cooter's decisions on running the ball. Um, a lot of those carries should have went to carry on. Johnson, um, too many handoffs to Blunt. This is not a situation that Blunt had to save us in this game. I think he handed the ball off him a little too much at the wrong time. I think a lot of those carries should have went to you know, carry on. Uh, I don't know why are we are not using him at his best potential uh, as Jim Bob Cooter. If you blame Matthew Stafford, you and I are going to have a big problem, whoever out there who decides to blame Stafford. You cannot blame him on this one. That blame goes to that that front seven on that defense, and and that uh, in those referees. The blame goes to that and the bad protection on the offensive line. Uh, like I said, Lane getting hurt doesn't help. I'm getting done with him with his injuries. I'm starting to get really sick of it. Now don't get me wrong. With the one and three, we've been one and three before, and we came out and went like four five games undefeated in the season nine and seven. One time made the playoffs. I'm not done with the season um but that run defense got to, something has to get tweaked there we can i mean if that's what ezekiel elliott's gonna do what the hell is ty Gurley gonna do what's ty Gurley gonna do to us if, if we you know you see how the rams are playing on they're a complete team right now offensively uh as i as they really in general they look like a well complete team right now if we that's how we go play to a team that's been struggling what the hell are we gonna do to a team that's been you know playing lights out so I, you you got to ask yourself as a head coach in this rookie career, what can you do to fix this run defense? I mean, that's what it is. You cannot – if you if your offensive coordinator can't set plays or you can hold the ball and maintain time possession, 
you are going to lose this game. I'm not asking for a perfect defense, but the defense we had should be more than acceptable if offense helps it out. The offense did not help it out. Jim Bob Cooter has got to go, like I've been saying. I didn't give him a pass last week despite us beating the Patriots, and I'm not giving him one this week either. Um, you know, the, the plays he dialed up today, he, when he did have time, I mean, I just don't understand some of these screens he's just infested with. Uh, I just don't get it. Some of these pet plays he went to, I mean, when you see your receiver chorus help saving you, do you – why not go to him, man? I, I don't get it. Your tight end sets, you didn't form them. Uh, you're not doing the proper play calls, uh, Jim Bob Cooter. Uh, then his defense allowing Elliott to get over basically 240 yards in total offense. My goodness. I, I didn't even understand that pass downfield. I didn't even realize he, it was him, man. Uh Kind of feel bad. Davis kind of was the one that was sitting me out of that pass as well. Jared Davis, uh, man, that was some Reggie Bush type stuff there. I'm not even going to lie. And, and I had a feeling it was going to happen because Dallas kept feeding off Ezekiel Elliott. The whole game plan. So I said, if they try anything new and slick, it'll be against us. I did say that. That they would try any little slick things they can come up with, it'll be against us. And we kind of fell right into it. You know, this is a... Again, this is a very competitive game. I salute Matthew Stafford, and I salute Carry On, Golden Tate, and uh, Kenny Galladay. They, they, you know, they put did what they could to help keep us in the game, man. But I'm sorry, the the defense did not support at all. I, I, I for a second, I thought we were going to run the whole five minutes down and try to go for the last score of the game on at, at like the five yard line of they uh, they territory, and then you no know, win the game because. I thought we had a chance to win when Nevin Lawson broke up that pass on uh, that former basketball player, I think Jersey 80 or something, whatever his name was. I forgot his name. But, yeah, he on third down, I said, wait, Nevin Lawson broke up a pass. I said, maybe we got a chance. <laughs> he dropped the near interception. We had a couple of chances to fumble late in the game that Prescott was able to recover. We had opportunities to still close the game on Keaton and give ourselves a chance to win. But, Defensively, we just can do it. You know, we we are very weak at the defensive tackle position. Hands down, we are very weak. Um, I re I really hope that Patricia can do something to change that. Uh, again, as far as the players of the game who get the game ball to me, Darius Slay. Uh, look, one it's proven today he's one of the best corners in the whole damn league. Top three for real, man. I I even put him as number one today. I don't care if he did make a mistake or not today. He, I'm putting him as the number one corner in the league because they kept going after him. Normally that don't happen. You don't try to go after the number one guy that's a lockdown kind of caliber player that he is. But they kept testing him, and Darius Slade just kept – he just kept showing up today, man, uh, no matter what. He didn't get much help. He had that stop on third and seven. I think uh, my main man, uh, Harold, lined up in the neutral zone or something, man. That, that, didn't, help at, that didn't help at all. That gave him a chance to redo the down with two yards to go instead of seven. And after we was already supposed to go out the field, see stuff like that. Mental mistakes is how we lost this game. Even with Elliott doing what he did, it Lions still made some mental errors that cost him the game. That was one key play. Because uh, the way they was moving the ball on us, to hold them down to 23 points, well, 26 to win it, but 23 points, you know, that was astonishing. Any other team, that would have been 30 or 40. The Lions – were lost this game because of mental errors, man. Defensively, mental errors. Offensive line play was bad. Uh, didn't give, you know, like I said, not to repeat myself, Golden Tate, Stafford connection. It came alive better than it did in a while, man. They, they did what they could to help us win this game. Tate with two touchdowns, nearly 100 yards. Um, <laughs> Marvin Jones had a quiet day. He had a nice catch, a couple of catches, but that was about it. Galladay. Bit time on keep downs and you know like I said man even like I said when you have a moment when even a guy like Nevin Lawson kind of helps save the day and at least holds him to a field goal instead of a touchdown making a ten point lead we were supposed to win that game we came to the lead defensively too many mental errors we stepping in neutral zone at the pass brace up on third downs we cannot be that stupid. We already got the refs screwing us, but it don't help when the Lions, and you can see it to their own fault, they are screwing up on themselves too. They have, Patricia has to well discipline that defense, man. Despite the yardage Elliott got, we still could have won that game. Um, 
man, I'm just real distraught right now. Like I said, season not over yet. Uh, this is a winnable game. So I believe that we can still go off and do some success, but they got to play smarter than this. When you know the referees are going against you, you have to be your own decider of your own fate. You have to say, well, I'm not going to make sure I'm not going to line up in the neutral zone in fashion on third down and give them an extra chance to do it. I'm going to make sure that we don't let them uh, score on, I mean, get too many yards on third down and fall for trip plate. We're not going to let mental errors get in the way. Uh, Ten-yard penalties by Devin Kennard. You know, we, like I said, that hit Okwara. I, I'm giving that one a pass. I don't care what you say. That was some bull. I don't agree with that play. I think that was a sack because it all happened before the whistle. How can they? It, 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 you can't even say a moment of football. They didn't even see the guy fall down. Okwara had his head down, so he couldn't have saw Dak Prescott fall somewhat to his knee. And then, of course, you go see a quarterback stand. You go hit him. That wasn't. It wasn't even about the moment. That was just playing football, and they screwed us on that. They screwed us on that one. But anyway, man, making this video 11 minutes already, over 11 minutes. Uh, shout out to everybody. I know they've been slam the Lions, but I repeat, Matthew Stafford did not lose us this game, not even close. Uh, uh, Lions lose 26-24. Uh, congratulations, Dallas. Y'all got us again. No, peace.